Hello again, everyone. In the news recently, you may have heard about this new Microsoft Recall. So basically, it's a small language model that runs on your machine and it constantly grabs screenshots every five seconds. And then it tells if you know this current screenshot is different than the previous. It describes the image and writes it to a log. Uh, I think they said it was a SQL, SQLite DB on the machine. There are so many privacy implications with this. Where's the state going? How's you know the, the, the response getting tracked or logged anywhere on, on servers? Even though Microsoft assured you know that it was safe and it was secure and, and you know nothing's happening on the cloud. So my whole thing is if you you know don't need a situ or you don't need a solution that, that Microsoft is providing in this endeavor, you want to build your own from a from a security perspective. We've gone ahead and done that. So in our previous video, we discussed the Phi 3 image description solution so you can go to a previous video and check that out it's image tagging with phi3 but this one we're just going to use the same solution and if you haven't already downloaded the phi3 vision language model here's the steps to do that um, once you get into this notebook you just click this or you run this it downloads the model to the phi3 directory that we're going to be using here and then it goes on so i'll just kind of walk through the code really quick what's happening here is uh, loading our libraries. This is where we generate the image description with the, the model to kind of offload some of our GPU requirements each time. We go ahead and delete the model um, so that way we don't get the CUDA out of memory error. Right here we're doing a file versioning check. So this is just an extra layer of checking to see if the file names are going to collide. If, if they are, then we kind of add like a V1 or a V whatever that number is to it. Here's where we actually write the image description to the log file and it's the log file for that day. So every screenshot that gets captured and, and the description is written, it goes in the log file for that day. This is just our check to make sure that, it, or this is our check to grab the last modified image in the recall directory. That's important because we're gonna pass the current snapshot as or the current screenshot as well as the previous from this uh, get last image written to compare to ensure if they're the same or different. If they're different, then we're gonna go ahead and write the description, log the image, save the image. If not, if they're the same, then we're just gonna disregard that and delete the current snapshot until the uh, screen changes. So here's the full functionality. You can run through this and it's kind of, I, I tried to write out step by step, line by line, what's actually happening in the, in the code. And then here's how you start it. So to, to check the progress, we're just going to look at the recall directory. But as of now, let's, let's go ahead and run the solution and see what we get. So I have it set to run every 30 seconds, and this is because I don't want to overload the, the GPU by running the Phi 3 model. So we're going to pull up just to kind of make sure. And so here's our YouTube. This was the video I was talking about on our page from uh, the Phi 3 image tagging, and we kind of used that structure. Um, with some, some Python functionality to kind of wrap around our code here. Uh, this is just our, our website. Here's the Hugging Face page for the model that we're actually using. So what I want to show you is happening is, um, if you want to look in the recall directory, so here's the images. So this was the first image taken. This was the second image taken. I think there's a little difference in the, the code. And here's a third screenshot. So it is capturing both screens. And this is the log file. So for each image, it's writing a description of that. And so this was actually of the page, <laughs> of the community page on Hugging Face for the model. Let's see if we get the third. Okay, so here's the third image. This is us looking at the image directory. So this is basically what Recall is doing on, on the Microsoft side. They, they, I do have the checks and balances in there. This is completely unencrypted, so the same privacy secure, uh, privacy concerns uh, exist here, but this is just a way that you know that you can run this exact same tool or you can have this exact same tool that they're running and not worry about offloaded data or screenshots going out. Um, it's as secure as your system's gonna be, so there are some similarities in that aspect. Also, it doesn't have the you know the clean you know searchable UI that that Microsoft provides with Recall that's easily built in using some Flask or, or, or Django or some React web model that you could just tie in and then pipe this in. If you if you really want to get deep into it, you can pump you know the the log files into a uh, vector DB and run some sort of you know rag solution on top of this to actually pull back the image and the, the transcript or the, the actual description from what you were searching for that specific day. The log files are written 
per day. This is kind of just a quick little demo, quick little tutorial. The code will be provided. I will uh, include the GitHub repository in the video description. But here's your own version if you actually wanted to catalog what you're doing. Here's your own version of Microsoft Recall that I just call Falcon Recall. Um, I do have it set, if we want to pull back up the code, I do have it set to run every 30 seconds. Here I said every minute, but for the, the video, I just set it to run every 30 seconds. You can obviously change this to 60 and it'll run every minute. Also, uh, this is basically the number of minutes in a week. So it's just gonna run for a week, obviously. There are some tweaks that can be added to the solution, but if you just wanted a straight out of the box toy around with a large language model if you wanted to toy around with a vision model to get the similar impacts or similar effects of searchable screenshots that microsoft recall is offering here you go and it's completely local and it's completely yours you control all the code and the functionality thank you for your time falcons ai 125